welcome back to the channel. Today it's going to be a full body hypertrophy workout. It's going to be circuit style, but it's still going to be focusing on strength. So we're going to be doing seven exercises. We're going to be doing four rounds. We're going to first start with a set of 10, then another set of 10. Then we're going to up our weights to a set of eight. And once again, increase our weights for a set of six. And of course, followed by a full body stretch at the end. So let's go ahead, grab your equipment, and here's your preview of all the exercises yet to come. Nice and soft. 
Strong core, shoulders back. We bring it back down. Squeeze it up. Bring those dumbbells down in front of the shins. Squeeze back up. We're just going 90 degrees at the hips. Bring it back up. Bring it down. Squeeze it up there. Come on, you got this. Pose here, your chain time. Hamstrings, glutes, low back. Give me five more. Five. And squeeze. Four. Squeeze it up there. Three. Squeeze it. Two. One more. One. And up. So let's bring those dumbbells down. Let's go ahead, let's grab our ball. We're gonna go from our lower body back to our upper body with our twisting chest press. So I'm gonna stick with those 20s. If you need to go down in your weight, go ahead and grab the weight that's gonna be best for you. Let's walk it out to that bridge position. We're gonna take it, arms up, palms face in. Here we go, we bring them down, palms face to the knees, up and press them together. Down, press. You got this. Keeping it right above the chest. Keeping that strong core. Pressing through the hips, through the hamstrings. As we squeeze with the chest, our shoulders, our triceps. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Keep them there, bring them down to the chest. Let's roll it all the way up. I'm gonna keep those 20s for our bent over bilateral rows. Let's lean it over. Here we go. Row it up and down for nine, eight, seven. You got this. Six, five, four. Come on, you got this. Three, two, and one. Let's bring those up. I'm gonna rack those 20s. We're gonna take our good 90 second rest in between our rounds. Pull we'll that ball out of our way. Grab a sip of water if you need it. I'm also gonna go ahead and put that 10 pounder away. Cause I'm gonna use my 12 for our squat and front raise. So we're gonna take full advantage of that 90 seconds. Yes, we're still doing circuit style, but since we're going a little bit heavier with each round, we're gonna go ahead, take a little bit extra rest between each one of those rounds. So round one is done. We have three more to go. We have another set of 10, then we drop it down to eight, and then finally to six. During our rest, we're just moving, just actively resting, bringing that heart rate down, letting those muscles recover, getting mentally and physically ready for round two. So let's go ahead and just shake everything out. Take that good deep breath in and deep breath out. Let's go ahead. Let's grab that 12 pounder or whatever weight that you're using. Let's go ahead, let's bring it in front. So once again, 10. Here we go. 10, nine, you got this. Eight, working those legs, our glutes, our shoulders, come on. Give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. I'm gonna rack that 12 pounder. I'm gonna grab my 15s this time for our curtsy lunges. Just a little bit more of a challenge. Here we go. One, step and lunge. Two, really making sure, keeping those hips forward. It's easy to start to let them twist. You got this. We're at five. 
Breathe it out. Six, come on, you got this. Come on, we're at eight. Last two.
this workout. First two rounds are done. Two more to go. Eight and six. So these are going to be our heavier rounds. So since I did my 12s last time for our squat and front raise, I'm going to go up to my 15 this time. I'm going to bring that back out in front. Have it there. Which then means for my curtsy lunges, I'm going to be going up to 20s. So remember, if at any time you need to go back down in weight, please feel free to go back down in weight. It's always about proper form, proper technique. Not just throwing around heavy weights. You still have to do it with the correct form and the correct technique. Let's go ahead. Let's grab a little sip of water with the whistle. And let's get ready for round three. Sets of eight. Let's bust this thing out. Let's grab that dumbbell. Let's get situated. You ready? Let's go. Eight. Seven. Come on, you got this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Let's put that 15 pounder away. Let's grab our 20s. Let's bring them out. And let's get ready for those curtsy lunges. Let's go. Eight. Working that range of motion. Seven. Come on. You got this. Six. You're looking strong. Breathe it out. Here's four. Three. Let's go. Two. One. And one. Excellent job. Let's go ahead. Let's bring those down. Let's shake out those arms. And just give them a good shake. Take those good deep breaths. In and out. Since we're going heavier, it's okay that we're having a little bit longer rest time between each exercise. That's going to be the difference between our hit and our hypertrophy circuits. Hit, we're constantly going. With the hypertrophy, we take a little bit longer rest. Since we're pushing a little bit heavier weights. So let's go ahead. Let's get our arms situated. Bring those legs back. All right. Here we go. Eight. Let's throw it up there. Come on. Cool. We're at six. Come on. You've got this. Five. Keep it strong. Let's go. Cool. We're at three. You've got this. Come on. Two. One. And one. Woo! I know those are challenging. But you guys did awesome. So let's go ahead. Let's roll that single one away. We're going to keep it at 20. Once again. With those twists. Lean it back. Elbows in. Here we go. One. Two. Come on. You got this. Really twisting through the waist. You're halfway there. Give me 10 more. 10, 9, let's go. 8, 7, 6, come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Let's go ahead. Let's put those 20 pounders away. We gotta bring up those 25s. Back to that lower body. Back to that posterior chain. Let's go ahead. Hands in front. Knees are soft. You ready? 
Let's go. Down. Squeeze it up. Seven. Squeeze it up there. Come on. Six. Five. Let's go. Four. Hinging at those hips. Three. Two. Come on. One. And one. Let's bring those down. Let's grab that ball that we kicked away earlier. Let's bring it on out. All right. Let's grab those dumbbells. Let's bring them up. It's getting real now. Well, let's go. Roll it out there. Bring those up. Engage through that core, through the hips. Here we go. Down. Press it up. Down. And press. Come on, give me six. Six.
that base arm. Three. Come on. Two. One. And one. Whoo, buddy. That was tough. But you guys did it. Let's take it. On that back side. Let's bring that 25 pounder in. Let's lean it back. Let's twist it. Breathe it out. Twisting through that midline. Come on. 10 more, 10. Nine, you're looking strong. Eight, breathe it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's put those 25s away. I'm gonna go up one more time to those 30 pounders for those last three exercises. Let's bring the one out, put that other 25 pounder away. Grab the other one. All right, let's bring it up. Last six with our deadlifts. Let's go. Six, really hinging back with those hips. Breathe it out. Here's three. Two. One more. And one. Let's grab that ball. Let's sit on it. Take that little breather. And shake out those hands just a little bit. I know that group might be getting a little tired, but here we go. Last six with our chest press. Let's roll it out, bring it up, engage that core. All right, let's go. Down, press, down, squeeze it. Come on, last four. Four. Three, you got this. Nice and strong. Two. And one. Bring it down. Roll it up. All right. Last exercise. Then we get to cool it down. And stretch. Let's go. Let's lean it. Let's row it. Six. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two and one. Let's rack those dumbbells. Let's get them out of our way. Let's clean up our work area. Put all of those dumbbells back where we found them. We'll take our ball, bring them out of sight. And if you want to go ahead, take off your gloves. Go ahead. Throw them to the side. And let's go ahead. Let's just tap it. And let's just take those arms forward and back. Just getting everything moving. Taking those good deep breaths in and out. Starting to bring that heart rate down. Starting to bring that breathing back down to normal. From here, let's take those feet nice and wide. And let's drop it down to the side, stretching through those hips, through the inner thighs, through the hip joint. And then let's go ahead and take it over to the other side, nice and easy. Just starting to re-elongate all of those muscles that we just used throughout that entire workout. Let's go ahead, let's bring it back to that first side once again. Let's just hang out here. Take that good deep breath in. And deep breath out. Bring it back over to that other side. Good deep breath. In and out.
From here, let's bring it back to the center. Bring the feet a little bit closer. Turn those toes out. And let's just go ahead. Let's bring it into our nice little garden squat. Take that good deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's lift those hips all the way up. I'm going to take it to the side. Let's just keep those knees soft. Relax through the shoulders, through the neck. Just let everything hang down. From here, let's take those arms, bring them back. Open up the chest and shoulders. Get that good stretch through the front of the shoulders as well. Let those arms come back down. Let's walk it all the way into our plank. Let's just hold it here. We'll bring it all the way down. Let's take it into our baby cobra. On the forearms, opening up the chest. Nice long shoulders, long neck. Lengthening all the way down that back. Down the legs. From here, let's bring it all the way down. Let's sit it back. Hips to heels. Get that good long stretch. All the way down the arms, down the shoulders, and that upper back. Down the mid back and that low back. From here, let's bring it up to our tabletop. And let's take it into some good angry cat. Breathe it out. And inhale into our cow. Exhale, round it up. Inhale into our cow. One more time. Exhale. Inhale into our cow. Let's take it. Tuck those toes. Lift those hips. Let's walk it all the way back to our feet. Let's round it up that spine. Let's take it all the way to the wall. We'll bring the one foot up to our butt. We bend that bottom leg just slightly. And let's stretch out those quads. So even though we're grabbing onto that foot, make sure neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Good, strong core. And we're just going to hold it here. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's go ahead. Let's bring that down. Let's switch sides. Bring that one up. Once again, base leg has that little give. Neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Just letting the front of the leg get that good stretch. And of course, get a deep breath in and out. By now, that heart rate and that respiration should pretty much be back down to where it was before we started. So let's go ahead. Let's bring that down. Let's bring it back to the center of our mat. Let's go ahead. Take one more good deep breath in. And deep breath out. And you guys are done. Amazing job. Four rounds. Full body hypertrophy. Absolute speed spectacular day way to start the day so as always thank you guys for tuning into the channel make sure to like share subscribe comment below let us know what you guys think and of course let us know what you guys want to see so until next time peace